Is glass really made from sand? The short answer to this is yes. But then again, people in pubs will gladly announce to you that 85% of your brain is in fact water. As with most knowledge acquired in pubs, it isn't actually that simple. And so it is with glass. Although glass isn't quite as complicated as your brain. When we talk about glass, we generally mean something called soda lime glass, which is by far the most common variety and the type used in bottles, windows, spectacles, and a number of other see through items. So that is the sort we shall consider here. The main ingredient in the recipe for soda lime glass, representing about 75% of the mix, is silica or silicon dioxide. SiO2 crystals are usually found in the form of sand or quartz, of which there is tons at the seaside. Therefore, this forms the basis of most glass production. So the answer is still yes. But anyone who has so much as looked at a geography book with disdain will know that sand itself is made up from particles from a variety of rocks which have been pulverized by the wind and the rain. Even so, the main constituent of sand in non tropical coastal areas is still silica or quartz. So, sand it still is. Interestingly, though, the second most common form of sand found in areas with lots of reefs is calcium carbonate. This will not make glass. So, in an area such as the Caribbean, the answer to this question is technically no. Silica can actually form a rubbishy type of glass by itself, as seen in fulgurides. These are hollow, long glass tubes formed when a bolt of lightning hits a sandy area of soil. So, once again, yes. Formation of a fulgurite occurs at temperatures of at least 1800 degrees Celsius, which is enough to fuse the silica grains together. We know that naturally occurring glass was used by Stone Age man to make sharp tools, but not window panes or greenhouses. Glass formed by fulgurites is irregular and its production is quite hazardous. Soda lime glass is made by melting silica in a controlled environment along with other materials that enhance its properties. Sodium carbonate, the soda bit, is added to lower the point at which the silica melts. This has the unwanted side effect of making the glass soluble in water. So calcium oxide, the lime bit, is added to make it more durable and able to withstand the harsh driving rain of somewhere like Scotland. As with exotic alloys of metals, other things can be added to enhance the properties of glass. Lead or flint lends brilliance, for example. Iron can be added to absorb infrared radiation and cerium oxide to protect against ultraviolet. But it's still mainly sand. Although glass making is an ancient craft and even glass blowing dates from the time of Christ's birth, large glass windows remained an expensive luxury until well into the modern era. Production methods meant that making anything larger than a small pane was very difficult. Before the world famous float glass was invented, large panes had to be cast onto an iron tray and then ground and polished. Later, this process was automated with rollers, but it was still very time consuming and very expensive. Float glass involves pouring molten glass onto a bed of molten tin, so the glass flattens itself. But all of this is a distraction, and the fact remains that, as I said at the beginning, yes, Glass still is, in essence, made from sand. So I've wasted your time. Crikey, you're still here. Well, look, if you enjoyed finding out whether or not glass is actually made from sand, why don't you subscribe for more of this stuff? The button is here.